What is going on, everybody? And as you know, the Winter Agent Summit ended last Wednesday, and my goodness, was that absolutely insane. So as you see, I did manage to get the car. I got like 2,400 place, I think. Um, that summit was crazy, honestly. I did like jump back into it and actually like improve my score on some stuff. Um, anyway, here's the car, and as you can see, the headlights do indeed work on it, which is pretty awesome. Uh, pretty cool overall. Let's go check out the customization right now on this vehicle. Um, overall, first impressions, I haven't really got to drive the car yet. Um, definitely looks pretty awesome. Here, getting right in the customization, guys. Uh, color, you can put whatever color you feel like wanting on there. Um, does look pretty cool in different colors, honestly. So here is uh, the black color. If you put a brighter blue color on there, it look pretty cool, too. Match the rims there. Uh, insanely bright, but does look pretty cool. Um, you can also do some liveries. I give some credit to some of these people that have made these, whoever your names are that are not loading for me. But these do look pretty awesome. You can also put these in the car as well if you did manage to get it. And then after that, there is no visual part for the vehicle. And then finally getting into vanity, whatever you do own for the vehicle you could put on. Uh, looks pretty awesome overall, guys. I'm going to throw on some, uh, how about that? And then you could put nitros of your choice on the vehicle as well. And then that is pretty much it overall. Let's get right into driving it. I am going to compare this vehicle to the other 911 Speedster as well. So I'm going to put both of them to the test on the salt flats there to see which one is faster. If not, they're the same. And then I'm going to take that car in a little quick race down to Miami to drive it and see how it does. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so now I am at the salt flats here. And, well, I'm going to be showing you the interior real fast. So getting right into it here, let's take a little look at it. And as you know, this car is a six-speed, which is pretty cool. So let's get right into the top speed of it. Um, a lot of people are wondering how this car is, probably how it compares to the other one. So I'm going to do a top speed run on the other Speedster as well. Um, overall, the car seems pretty decent. Honestly, I was using the Speedster a lot in those stunt type races just because it seemed to do pretty well in those. Um, let's see how it does. This is with the Nitro Chemist set. So like I said, it is dependent on how the car does overall. Um, sometimes these cars don't have the best top speed um, overall, but it really depends on, I guess, how you drive them and all that. So pushing it here, it does over 220 miles an hour there. Uh, pretty decent, um, obviously it might be lower than some other cars, it might be a little faster on the street, normally it's around the same, uh, seems to be a little lower on top of speed there, but then again, this car is probably not made for competitive racing, I mean, look at it, it's more of like a cruiser vehicle, and maybe take it up to a ski resort. So guys, now I am in the regular 911 Speedster here that everybody can purchase in the game there, um, so as you see, the interior is actually exactly the same in this car compared to the other. A little different coloring there on some of the things, like the back's uh, rest and all that. It's blue. Um, overall, guys, let's see what this car does with top speed compared to the Winter Agent Edition. I know some people will be wondering because that Summit was absolutely ridiculous. Very, very competitive for that car, which is kind of insane to me. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be like that, to be honest. Uh, but, I mean, it definitely gives you challenge, so... Overall test speed here. Obviously, the other car doesn't have the wing there either because of the, well, uh, skis on the back. Um, so hitting the nitrous here. Let's see if this car will do around the same speed here, which it seems like they're probably around the same. Um, and as you will see there, this car actually seems to be a little bit quicker than the Winter Agent Edition, which is interesting. So I just did 235 in the regular speedster there. Um, I'm going to do a quick little top speed one on the road right on the highway here with the other one to see if that makes a difference. Alright guys, now I am on the highway now with the Winter Agent Edition to see how the top speed, well, is a little different on the road compared to there, which probably not, but sometimes it can make a little bit of a difference, so I'm just testing out right now, real fast here, a little quick top speed run on the highway, right in the same area here to see if this car does actually struggle over there, or if it just doesn't do it, and as you will see there, that is exactly why I want to test it, guys, I was doing over 240 on the street there with the car so definitely does make a bit of a difference being on the road compared to the salt flats this car does seem to be a little bit quicker or they're most likely the same i just tested on the salt flats let's do a quick little race with it and i miserably just failed at driving except for the blue there uh you will see that the car is kind of the same instead of that like suede leather kind of color there as in the other one it's basically the same car there uh this one does look pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie i actually really like the skis on the back it's kind of cool seeing that um, and then like the blue lined tire rims there look really cool as well. Um, so here's a quick little test. I am slipstreaming uh, Amy here. So let's see. So this car is obviously doing it well over 200 miles an hour. And then it's dropping a little bit because I'm going up a hill. Um, but it seems to be holding speed pretty decently. It's also why I wanted to pick this race just because it's kind of longer. And you can test the top speed out a little bit more. Um, the roads really do make a bit of a difference on these cars guys. Uh, it's kind of crazy. 
you will notice in some roads the car might not be that fast compared to others and other roads it's really fast just kind of it does make sense overall like the hills and all that um most people might be a little annoyed with that but overall it's pretty much you know normal uh as you guys will also see uh one of the concerns i know people were having is does this car have headlights well that is a yes it actually does um very cool looking headlights there obviously uh looks cool and i like it i'd have to say this car is pretty awesome i hope anybody who really competed this time i hope you guys did get the car if you didn't who knows maybe they'll bring it back eventually um i know a lot of people want the performante to come back that could be a possibility uh that car is definitely awesome very cool to drive in the hyper class even though it was nerfed pretty heavily a while ago because of well it was doing well over 300 miles an hour with nitro chemist which was kind of destroying a lot of cars honestly um Overall, guys, how do I rate this car? Um, honestly, out of a 10, I'm going to give it like an 8.5, maybe a 9. Uh, really cool looking vehicle. Speed's pretty decent on it. It definitely could be a competitor if you wanted to compete with it. Uh, the overall Speedster itself is also a great vehicle, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And the new Speedster Winter Agent Edition is pretty awesome addition to the game. I hope you guys did get the vehicle. If not, maybe it will come back eventually.